everyone. Welcome to the classroom. My name is Miss Kathy, if you're new here. And today's letter of the day is the letter B. Can you say B? Does your name have a letter B? If your name has letter B, stand up. If your name has letter B, stand up. If your name has letter B, if your name has letter B, if your name has letter B, stand up. Well, B is for polar bear today. What color is a polar bear? White. A polar bear is white and fluffy. I decorated my letter B today with cotton balls. What letter is this again? It's letter B. And now that we can recognize letter B, we'll practice writing it. To write letter B, you make a line that goes straight down, then go back to the top, curve around from the top to the middle, and curve around from the middle to the bottom. That's the uppercase letter B. Let's practice writing it. So make a line that goes straight down, and then curve around upstairs, curve around downstairs. Go down and curve around from the top to the middle, then the middle to the bottom. Curve around once and curve around again. This is uppercase letter B. Well, let me show you how to write the lowercase b. You're going to make a line and then find the middle, curve around from the middle to the bottom. Let's practice making a lowercase b. Make a line that goes down and curve around. Down, curve around. Down and curve around downstairs. That is the lowercase letter B, and you get a sticker for your handwriting paper. It's blue. B is for blue. Well, let's talk about the sound that letter B makes next. Letter B makes this sound. B, 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 B. Can you make that sound? B, 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 B. Sounds like we're popping bubbles. B, 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 B. Let's actually pop some bubbles. I'll blow them and you pop them across your screen as you practice the letter B sound. B, 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 B. Here we go. What does letter B say? B, 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 B. B, 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 B. Letter B says. B, 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 B. What does B say? B, 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 B. Let's try to make a big bubble. Did you pop that bubble on me? The letter B says B -b 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 -b, like popping bubbles. Let's use that sound for blending. Can you help me sing the vowel song? H E I O U A E I O U A E I O U these are the vowels. Well, high five to all the vowel singers out there. If you want to learn how to read, step one, learn the letter sounds. And that's what we've been doing all this time. Step two, learn how to blend those sounds together. And that's what we're about to do. Step three, add another letter at the end and you're reading. And we're gonna do that also today. Let's start by blending B with A. I'm just using the hand motions today to remind you what the vowels sound like. We know what letter B sounds like. We just practiced it. B, 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 B. And letter A says, ah, 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 as in achoo. B, ah, ba, ba, ba. You try. Bah. It sounds like a sheep. Bah, bah, bah. 
<laughs> Let's try B with E. B, B, B. E, B, B. Oh, you go to sleep on your bed, bed. All right, let's try B with I, and we'll read a real word for this one. B says B, 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 and I says E, like an icky sticky lollipop. E, B, E, B, B. Let's put a letter G at the end. Letter G sounds like this, G, 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 like gulping water. Big, 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 big. A polar bear is really big. Now let's try B and O. B says B, 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 and O says ah, B, ah, ba, ba. Last one. B says B, and U says uh, like a tummy ache, uh, B, uh, ba. Let's put a letter S at the end. Letter S sounds like a snake. S ba s ba s bus bus beep beep. Well, you did a great job blending and reading today. That was our letter time, and now it's time for math. For math today, we're going to be adding polar bears. Take a look at this worksheet. Let's count how many polar bears in the first box. One, two, right? Number two, right here. Let's count how many polar bears in the second box. One, two. Let's write number two right here. But I want to know how many polar bears all together. What is two plus two? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Two plus two equals four. Adding is easy. You're just counting how many all together. Let's do this next one. How many polar bears in the first box? One, two, three, four, five. How many polar bears in the second box? One, two, three, four. I want to know how many polar bears all together. Let's count all the polar bears. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five plus four equals nine. Okay, let's move down to this one. How many polar bears in the first box? One, two, three. How many polar bears in the second box? One. What is three plus one? Let's count all the polar bears. One, two, three, four. Three plus one equals four. Next, I see some baby polar bears. How many baby polar bears can you see? One, two. I see a polar bear that caught a fish. How many polar bears with a fish can you see? One. How many polar bears all together are there? One, two, three. Two plus one equals three. Okay, let's do the next one. How many polar bears in the first box? One, two, three. How many polar bears in the second box? Two. They're sleepy. Maybe they're hibernating. How many polar bears all together? One, two, three, four, five. Three plus two equals five. Okay, last one. How many polar bears in the first box? One. How many polar bears in the second box? 
One, two, three, four. How many polar bears all together? One, two, three, four, five. One plus four equals five. And you did a great job today. You get an A plus today for our math. A plus, great work. Well, it is time for science. And I wanna ask you something. What color do you think a polar bear is? Earlier, we said white and we decorated our letter B with white cotton balls. But let's learn some things that you might not already know about polar bears. For science today, first we'll look at a picture of lots of different polar bears. These are the biggest bears in the world. There are other bears like a panda bear or a koala bear, but these are the biggest ones. There's a black bear, a brown bear, a grizzly bear, and a polar bear. Which one is the biggest? The polar bear is the biggest, very good. Look at the person. Now look at the polar bear. Look back at the person. Now look at the polar bear. You can see that a polar bear is very, very big. Now we said that a polar bear looks white to us, but if you could look under all that fur, you would see that actually a polar bear's skin is black. And if you could look up close at each of those polar bears' hairs, you would see that they're clear, they're translucent. That means you can see through them, like this glass of water. Now, what happens is the clear hairs of the polar bear or this clear glass of water can bend the light and make our eyes see things a little differently. So take a look at this arrow. Which way is it pointing? It's pointing this way. But watch what happens when I put it behind the glass of water. Now which way is it pointing? That way. Now which way is the arrow pointing? This way. Now where is it pointing? That way. Isn't that amazing? So, the glass of water is bending the light, making our eyes see things a little bit differently. Let's try this polar bear picture. Which way is his head facing? This way. Now let's put it behind the glass of water. Now which way is his head facing? That way. This way. And now that way. Let's do the arrow once more. This way. And now that way. Let me show you, if you try this at home, you have to hold the arrow far away from the jar in order for it to work. So that's a little tip. I hope you will try it. Well, it is time for art and I wanna show you what we made for art today. For art today, we're making a blot painting. So here's what you need to do. You need to take a cotton ball and you can dip it into some white paint and if you don't want to get your fingers all messy, you can clip it with a clothespin. Dip it into the paint and you're going to blot it on the paper. You're going to make a circle for the polar bear's head, two smaller circles for the ears, and then you can come down and blot, 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 tap, 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 and make the body. If you want to, you can use your fingertip and you can make snow all around. You'll have to wait for it to dry and then you can draw on the face. So there is our art project for today. We made a blot painting of a polar bear. Well, it is time for story time now. And the name of our book today is Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? by Bill Martin. Pictures by Eric Carl. Polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? I hear a lion roaring in my ear. Lion, lion, what do you hear? I hear a hippopotamus snorting in my ear. 
Hippopotamus, hippopotamus, what do you hear? I hear a flamingo fluting in my ear. Flamingo, flamingo, what do you hear? I hear a zebra braying in my ear. Zebra, zebra, what do you hear? I hear a boa constrictor hissing in my ear. Boa constrictor, boa constrictor, what do you hear? I hear an elephant trumpeting in my ear. Elephant, elephant, what do you hear? I hear a leopard snarling in my ear. Leopard, leopard, what do you hear? I hear a peacock yelping in my ear. Peacock, peacock, what do you hear? I hear a walrus bellowing in my ear. Walrus, walrus, what do you hear? I hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. <whistles> zookeeper, zookeeper, what do you hear? I hear children growling like a polar bear, roaring like a lion, snorting like a hippopotamus, fluting like a flamingo, braying like a zebra, hissing like a boa constrictor, trumpeting like an elephant, snarling like a leopard, yelping like a peacock, bellowing like a walrus. That's what I hear. The end. And that's the end of our class. I hope you'll join me next time here in the classroom. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time. <laughs>